ever seen. And I was raised by a single mom and being a, a son of a single mom tells you some very unique challenges. And at a young age, uh, we faced some pretty major obstacles, even at sometimes living in shelters. Uh, we were homeless at some point. So it was just a lot of challenges that my mom faced. But one thing that she always taught us is that to pursue your dreams and to work through any obstacles, you can achieve almost anything. Statistically, by 18, I guess I should have been selling drugs or in jail, but that wasn't something that interested me. We, No matter how hard it was, my brother taught me to always go play by the book and always really just stay focused on our goals and eventually it will work out. So that's really what uh, helped me to just figure out a different perspective and it helped. I think that's also what helped to mold me to want to be an entrepreneur. So we built up uglies and we encountered challenges that we never thought we'd ever experience. You know, I, the, the construction was just crazy. There were structural issues. And all of a sudden... I remember that. Yeah, it took us over two years to get the yeah. place open. Yeah. And everyone was like, what's going on? What's going on? And what it was seeing us they didn't see behind the scenes was what the perseverance that we had to have. At one point, the ceiling was cut off. It's negative 20 degrees in there. Our hands are freezing and we're banging nails, putting the floor together, working with the contractors because we're way over budget. We're almost two and a half million dollars in at this point. But no matter what, we weren't going to give up. And Rob wasn't going to back out. And he really believed that, you know, he could make this work and that, and he believed in me, which motivated me to work even harder because someone to give me that much trust and that much an opportunity to become something that I aspired to be, you know, was worth giving everything I had. And it's going to give you something that motivates you and that you can be passionate about versus doing something for money or status or any type of uh, personal goal. Because personal goals only help you and no one's going to surround themselves around that. So if you can figure out what you can be happy about that can help others and find other like-minded people, then you'll figure out what business you need to start. You'll figure out what other people you need to surround yourself with. And it won't be difficult. I mean, it'll be challenges that you face, but the greatest challenge that most people face is themselves and the mind and the fear, which is, you know, the barrier between you and your goals. But once you break through it, I mean, how bad is it really? Nothing's really ever as bad as you think it is. So yeah. if you can just, yeah, figure out your purpose, you'll then figure out, everything else. Mm -hmm. And what makes you most excited about the city of Milwaukee right now? I'm so excited about this city because the biggest part of my life, the most amazing part of my life has all been here. All the people that I've met, all the people that are so ready to showcase this city and put it on a platform and say, hey, look at where we are and look at where we're going. There's so many buildings going up. There's so many people really need to invest in the city and just give people opportunities. And I think people should just keep drawing to that and holding on to that and just looking at where the city's going to go. All the development from the Bucks Arena and everything else. It's going to be so exciting to see in the next five to ten years what this city looks like. The entire skyline is going to be different and I just want to be a part of that. Mm -hmm.